I went to college, grad school, UCLA for undergrad, bachelor's of science in human biology, Johns Hopkins University for a dual MBA and master's in communications. And halfway through my MBA, I dropped out because I realized that I would keep throwing money down an endless pit of debt With no reward in sight, looking back, it might have been the best decision, one of the best decisions I ever made. Most of what I learned in life from being healthy to making money to understanding the law and being safe and improving myself as a person, most of those things I learned outside of college and grad school from real life experiences, not in a dark, depressing classroom filled with drugs and low-income university professors. Not to mention you have to go hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt for an education in theory. Theory is cool, but you can get it here on YouTube for free or dirt cheap. I'll give you theory all day long, and as a bonus, I'll try not to include propaganda that causes you to be poor or sterile. But there are still things that I can't give you, and neither can your university professors. And that's the priceless life experience of traveling and starting your own business. Traveling as much as you can and learning how to be an entrepreneur by constant trial and error is the most valuable skill that you can give yourself at such a young age. And unfortunately, isn't really taught by a lot of parents and teachers because when you become well-traveled and know how to start and operate your own business, you become very powerful and hard to control. But trust me when I tell you that it's probably the most rewarding decision you'll make for yourself at this age. You'll learn how to interact with all kinds of people, how to exist in the world in a way that's functional and stable, how to create businesses that improve people's lives, how to optimize your lifestyle so that you're the happiest and healthiest you can possibly be, and maybe even how to find the right kind of love. Don't be scared of this decision. No matter how many working class people try to convince you otherwise and say that you're going to be poor and suffer if you move to another country, this is how I know that you won't. As a rule, in this day and age, you're more likely to suffer and stay poor if you stay in the hometown where your parents raised you, for a number of reasons. First of all, industries are changing so fast right now because of globalization and changes in technology. The same industry that worked for your parents, in many cases, won't work for you. Second, you're starting off trying to support yourself within the same exact price range that your parents took many years to build up to, but you with not the same skills, money, or experience yet. So it's going to be a struggle to get to the top. And even if your parents were able to support you while you do it, it might be at the cost of your own confidence and self-esteem. A third reason why you'll likely have an easier time starting off your life in a different city than where you were raised by traveling and trying out businesses is that people are more likely to want to hire you and do business with you because you're going to be different. You'll stand out from the local talent pool. You'll be able to present yourself however you want and with as much confidence as you want because nobody knows you and you're naturally going to offer talents and skills that are different from what they're used to. I know that when I was hiring people for projects back in the States, I almost always chose immigrants over the people that were born and raised there because immigrants to me usually seemed more confident, hardworking, motivated. They were willing to do a lot higher quality work for cheaper. And conversely, as an employee or a business partner, people always seemed more excited to work with me when they realized that I'm not from their city or country, that I have a whole background that's cool and interesting to them. I have the skills or languages that they're not used to. Even when people become successful in college, I've noticed it's really because of the college itself. Oftentimes, it's actually because of that whole experience of moving to a new place and getting acclimated to a new culture and a new way of living. So think about that and also keep in mind that there's a whole world for you to choose from. Want to go to the cheapest place possible and let yourself have as much time as possible to come up with ideas for your next financial move? Well, there's places in the world that are cheaper than you can imagine and that are still beautiful and have all the luxuries that you need. Or maybe you already have a business idea in mind and want to go to a place where people pay more for your services. Well, there's a ton of places like that too, places where your services are desperately needed and they're willing to pay you a lot. Another thing I'll add is that instead of paying a ridiculous amount or going into debt in the US that's up to six figures of hard-earned money per year, why not level up 
in another country for free. One thing that we've noticed while in South America and Latin America in general is Americans and Canadians will come here to level up in their own words. They'll spend their time working on their health, fitness, learning a new language or a skill they always wanted to learn, spending time practicing mindfulness with nature, and maybe even learning about a type of business or finance they want to practice when they go back to their home country, if they want to go back. Whatever you need is out there. It doesn't have to be a leap of faith or a risky decision. In fact, despite the conventional wisdom around you and your bubble, staying in your hometown is the riskier decision. And if you're worried about getting shot or mugged or kidnapped while in another country, just keep in mind that that stuff happens everywhere. And usually the people who are worried about safety in another country only are the people that live in the least safe countries themselves. And you know who I'm talking to. You might just be familiar with your own country's trash, so it doesn't seem as scary to you. Even if there is an actual drug addict and rapist and looters lining the streets by your house, you're still going to assume that your country is the safest because it feels familiar to you. So just get rid of that mindset for now. Find out how to stay safe in a new place. The entire world is not the same as your country or your neighborhood. There's so many possibilities out there, so many different ways of living and different prices and ways of making money. Don't let your parents or friends or neighbors convince you to stay trapped in a stagnant way of living. As we always say, being wealthy isn't about reaching a certain number of value. It's about being a pioneer and doing the things that most people still aren't doing and then reaping the rewards early.